Just like we looked at the closure property of whole numbers, let's look at the closure property of integers. Now an integer can be any number, okay? It could be zero, it could be positive number, it could be negative number. The only thing is that they can be written without a fraction, okay? So the set of numbers, whole numbers plus all the negative natural numbers are basically integers. Now what we need to see here is whether the integers are closed under various operations. So what that means is, let's say if this is the box within which all the integers lie, when you perform these operations on numbers within this box, okay, which could be this, what is the output? Is the output again within the box or is it somewhere lying outside? If it is within the box, we say that the integers are closed under that operation. If the result is outside the box, we say that the integers are not closed for that operations. So let's talk about addition first. So let's say I add minus 3 plus 5. What is the answer? The answer is 2, which is an integer. Right? If I add 3 plus minus 5, okay, what do I get? I guess minus 2, which is also an integer. So in both these cases, and similarly you can perform these operations on as many number of cases you want, the answer always is going to be an integer. So we say that the integers are closed under addition. The result, the output is always going to be within this box. Subtraction. Again, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Right? Let's take minus 15 minus 8 okay again minus 2 23 this is an integer this is an integer right similarly you can keep on performing these operations on as many number of outputs as you want and the result is always going to be an integer which means that integers are closed under subtraction similarly for multiplication let's take one positive 5 into 1 negative minus 9 the answer is minus 45 and we know this is an integer let's take at both the negative minus 5 into minus 9 this gives you 45 which is again an integer right so we say that the integers are closed under multiplication how about division so let's say I divide minus 3 by minus 6 the answer that I get is 1 by 2, okay? But is 1 by 2 an integer? Does it lie within this box? The answer to that is no. Because 1 by 2 is not an integer, right? It's a fraction, which is not forming part of the stuff lying within this box. So we say that the integers are not closed under division.